So I have this PDF file here and in Postman I'm trying to check to see if the content is right. As you can see the test is failing and the reason for that is PDF files store some data in a binary format that is not easily readable in Postman. So how to solve this problem? The idea is that you need to parse the PDF files contents and get back regular text. Unfortunately no function in Postman does that. So if you can avoid doing this in Postman, it will save you a lot of effort. Hi there, this is Valentine and welcome to another Postman tutorial. I've worked on this problem together with a friend of mine. I want to introduce you to Oris from Dev Odyssey, who will take us through one possible approach for solving this PDF parsing problem in Postman. Oris will show you how to start a simple web application written in Node.js that will run in the background. We'll call this application over HTTP in Postman. Practically, you will let this Node.js app do the PDF parsing for you. Please note that this is an advanced tutorial and requires you to have Node.js installed. Orest has really put a lot of effort into this and I would really, really appreciate if you could take a look at his YouTube channel. He has really some great Postman tutorials for you. Welcome back to Dev Odyssey, a developer's journey through IT, where I cover tutorials and reviews of IT tools and technologies. I'm your host, Orest, and today, we're learning about PDF parsing in Postman. Before I begin, I'd love to give a quick shout out to Valentin Despa. Thank you so much for having me on your channel. I'm truly grateful for it, and it's exciting for me to deliver this video to your audience. Now, when making this video, I did run into a few snags with trying to get native PDF parsing to work within Node.js in Postman. You can't really import libraries well into Postman other than the ones that they provide, so I tried using the JavaScript eval function and even though that's dangerous, it also just didn't work for me and resolve those dependencies. So instead, I decided to use my own web service using Express.js and the same node modules for PDF parsing and use it as an endpoint for Postman to hit to send the PDF file and get the PDF back, in particular, the PDF text. Now you could have done this with a third party library. However, with that, it comes at a cost of money and privacy. So in this case, with a web service that you own, you have more control over it, it's reduced costs and more privacy, especially when using PDFs with sensitive information. Now, the three requests that I've made with this Express.js service are as follows. One is multi-part PDF parsing, two is base64 PDF parsing, and three is URL PDF parsing. Let's go ahead and dive right in. Now, before we begin in Postman, I thought it'd be really nice to show you this Express.js script that runs our web service to parse PDF text for us. So you can see in here, we do our imports of our modules, which are Express, Body Parser, PDF Parse, Crawler Request, and Multer. These can all be installed by using npm install and then the name of the module that I just mentioned. So first you'll need Node.js in order to do that. And then once you have it, you can install these modules. Then all we do in here is we do some setup for our services, including the body parse and the multer, which is multi-part. And then we have some endpoints. So the root endpoint returns hello PDF parsing. The PDF base 64 parse takes in a base 64 encoded PDF in the body, and then uses the PDF parser to return the PDF text in JSON. Same thing with multi-part parse, where it recognizes a multi-part form encoded request that comes in. It creates the buffer and then uses that PDF library again to send out and parse the text and then give it back to us in a JSON format. And then lastly, the same thing with PDF link parse, which here it actually goes out to that link using the crawler library, gets the PDF text there, and then we send it back out to Postman with a PDF text JSON. And then lastly, we have the app.listen, which actually starts the web service up. And in this case, we're starting it at port 3000, which is just by default. And that's really it there. So first, let's go ahead and start that web service up. And I'm going to need to do that using a terminal. So once you do node test express.js, which is the name of my script, 
you'll see that it says example app listening on localhost 3000. So we're ready to go. Now let's look at our Postman collection within Postman. You can find the link to this collection in the description below, as well as the link to the Express.js script in the GitHub gist. So first we're gonna go over the multi-part parse PDF request. Here, the request is really easily set up. In this case, all we do is we have a body that is set to form data. We have a key named file, and then we have a value in here, which I just have hello world PDF. This endpoint only accepts one PDF file and no more than one. Then we have some tests in here. And in here, all we do is we parse the JSON response and pull out that PDF text attribute, we trim it, and then we expect it to include hello world in there. And that's it. And we trim it also to just remove white space or any um, characters such as new line characters. So let's go ahead and run this request. And as you can see, we get our response of hello world. And you see those new line characters I was talking about. Now in our test result, you'll see that it passes because it gets that value out. And then if you're curious, you can even look in here and this is actually the response that it got. So this is the buffer that is output um, in the console that I actually set in the script to do that. Let's do a base64 encoded parse PDF. Here, the body is set very similarly, except I set a raw base64 encoded string and with a JSON attribute of base64. And that's all there is to it there. In the test, it's identical. It's because it's the same PDF file. I just already base64 encoded it. We just make sure it has hello world, and that's how we validate. We're gonna go ahead and do another run here. And as expected, we have PDF text, hello world, as it parsed it out. And you'll see that our test result, that it passes because sure enough, it contains hello world as well. Now our last one is URL parse PDF. This one's only a little bit different. In the body, we have a JSON request body where we have a link to an actual file. So this is an HTTP link. So we go ahead and click test, and it's basically the same, except I had to do a little bit more things. In this case, I use a PDF text replace, where I'm trying to use the string function to replace any new line characters all within the string. And that's because we may find this new line character not in just the end or the beginning, but also in the middle. So this regex helps me do that replacing. And then I trim it as well for anything at the ends. And then we just do a PM expect again, our PDF text replace and trim to include the string, this is a PDF document. So once I click send, you'll see all these extra new line characters, and then you see the one in the middle, and then you can also see that in our test result, it passes. And that really covers it for this. It's very simple, uh, but it can be very powerful. You have so much that you can add on to it. So you can do not just text, but you could do images or anything you want to test within a PDF such as locations of text or locations of images, and much more, you can add that functionality to this Node.js script backend that allows you to do the testing within Postman. Thanks so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you guys got a lot of value out of this, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you like other IT tools technologies and learning about APIs testing and other concepts, even security, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and make sure you click that bell for notifications. Lastly, I wanna give another shout out to Valentin. Thanks so much for having me on your channel. I'm so grateful and I look forward to collaborating with you in the future. What do you guys think? Would you use this Node.js service to parse PDFs or would you prefer this functionality to be inside of Postman itself? Leave a comment below and let me know. Thanks and I'll see you guys in the next video.